Hello. And I'm going to go over Shinobi's rear work to the best of my abilities. I don't work with a script, so hopefully it's as understandable as possible. I'm going to do my best from easiest to hardest to understand. Alright, so anytime you hit a light, you can get another in another area. Anytime you hit a heavy, guaranteed light in, in the same direction. Good on. So, light, light, heavy light. Alright, your entire kit is about focus on going into something called Sickle Rain. And this is Sickle Rain. Light, light, light. Say light three times right after you put your opponent into the ground. And you can get three lights. Light, light, light. Sickle Rain has properties of undodgeable on the side and unblockable up top. After almost any attack in the entire game, you can get a Sickle Rain. You have some uh, bashes, dodge forward, kick, dodge side, kick, double dodge forward, kick, double dodge side, kick. After those kicks, she'll then hit a heavy, and you have some options after that. Do some heavy, front roll, heavy, um, heavy, okay, that's your only option. Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> Yep, that's your only option. Sorry. I don't know why I spaced that. Okay. Range heavy, front roll. Then you have some options. Heavy, front roll. Press heavy to go into circle rain. Range heavy, front roll. You can press a light. Range heavy, front roll, guard break, and you'll do a backflip. After that backflip, press heavy, and you'll do a heavy worth of 15 damage. Not a lot, but still gets the job done. All right, after any of these options, uh, and after the heavy, of course, on the backflip, because you'll want that damage, or uh, on the kick, you want to do a backflip. So let's do, let's do light. Oh, sorry. Gar uh, you press dodge to do a backflip. Let's do that sickle rain combo. And then it'll do a backflip. Do this, and then you can do a backflip. Now, after that heavy on that kick, it does go into sickle rain, as almost every attack in the game can go into sickle rain. So you do have those two options on that uh, heavy after the kick. So heavy sickle rain, or heavy backflip. Um, it's really just about the situation. It all, it all uh, depends on the situation. Um, after you do the backflip, uh, it's kind of like uh, restarting your combo and doing another one. And those are your options that you have. You have to hit from those options. Now your opponent is most likely going to hit you after you backflip because now it's... Uh, by what the game's terms and people have termed it, it's now their turn to attack. So you'll have some defense that you can use against your opponent. And I'm going to show you. So let's put this guy... Uh, where is it? Let's have him do some heavy attacks. So press light right after you parry. And you will get a 18 damage light. Press, light, uh, press guard break right after the light and you'll do a kick. After you do that kick, you get a guaranteed range heavy. If you press guard break, you'll front roll, and then you just continue your combo like earlier, as I described, with those different options. Now your options are all available to you again. You've turned that defense into an offense with a combo. Shinobi also has deflex. Before, he would deflect, and he would automatically teleport. As you see, I didn't teleport. But now, uh, you have to put an input. So you just press guard break, you'll teleport, and then press heavy right after. You'll do a uh, ranged heavy. And then press uh, guard break right after that. Or no, press. Okay, hold on, let me re describe it. Okay, hold on. So after you deflect, you'll want to press guard break, and you'll get a kick. 
After that kick, you press heavy, and you'll get a guaranteed ranged hit. Press, gar uh, press dodge again, or press dodge, and you'll do a uh, front roll. Wherein then you can do all your combos as I described before with your front roll options. So he has a lot of options, which makes him seem way more complicated than he is. But really, you have, I'd say, about two chains with different options. He's a he's an he's an alright duelist. He's an exceptional ganker because of that sickle rain. Light, light, light. You can have uh, one of your teammates hit him while you're doing that lot, those lights. Because for you, they only provide 9 damage. Not too important. But your uh, teammate can get some big damage, like say it's Highlander or something. They'll get some big damage in. He has an area too, with uh, a few options. Uh, one of them I discourage because it's very dangerous. And that's just letting the area fly and then pressing heavy right after to go into Sickle's Rain. Sickle Rain, sorry. Uh, the one I do encourage is just to do it and then hard faint before that last attack because that last attack gets parried a lot. So really it's just about mixing your opponent up and getting them Sickle Rains and just being faster than your opponent and see being steps ahead. The real way to beat a shinobi from what I've occurred is to just control the fight better than he does, which may seem impossible right now, but give it some time to practice and everyone will just see shinobi as, uh, I'd say another Kaioshin. Uh, there's a lot of options, but you'll be able to shut it down with some, uh, some effort. Um, they tend to waste a lot of stamina too, and with them having low health, you're more than likely, if you get the upper hand, gonna finish them off pretty quickly. As most people will refer to them, they're merely just mosquitoes, um, if you can control that fight. So, hopefully that helps. Hopefully I've helped you get a little bit of a uh, idea of how you want to play Shinobi, and where you want, you know, where you stand about him. I know a lot of people are crying out loud that he's broken right now and stupid. And, you know, I think he's alright. Um, I didn't make a, a Rochi or Raider one when their Riga Works came out because I had a very strong feeling that at least a Rochi was going to get nerfed. I really don't know why they got rid of the stun and the damage drain on Raider's charge. I didn't have an issue with it. I just thought that's uh, pretty normal. I mean, that's how Raiders always been. It's alright. It's not too bad. It can get annoying, but anything in this game can get annoying. This game is annoying. That's why I play it. Um, so it can get annoying, but it's not too bad. I really was just... I just thought his damage numbers were a little high, that's all. Besides that, I have no problem with Raiders. Um, and the only problem I had with Orochi was not even his undodgeable option for the kick, it was um, it was the kicks being spammed and the fact that I could be put in infinite against two Orochis, that was not fun. Which I guess is still a thing, but I'll just have to figure out a way around it, because that's, that's, that's life. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully this helps. I'm going to show some gameplay of some shinobi footage that I got today. Um, and hopefully that'll, um, that'll at least give you some actual examples. And I just wanted to say that I was going to make a video, but I thought I'd put it in the shinobi video. That I'm, I'm very, you know, I was very ecstatic when I reached a thousand subs. And I don't know how to thank you guys more than just making videos. Um, I did make a Twitch, and we're probably going to either start streaming tonight, me and a few buddies playing For Honor, or we're going to start tomorrow. But we're going to try to do it every week, just streaming on Twitch. And then I'll, you know, upload some highlights onto uh, onto the channel. And then, if I can figure it out, uh, stream with um, Twitch and YouTube at the same time. 
But uh, yeah, if you enjoy this content, just subscribe. If I missed anything, go ahead and let me know. And uh, thanks, and uh, bye.